Hey, Thorpey. Angels, I know you've never let me down before, but this week we've got three stories that will really test you. First up, Simone, it's a case of two long-lost war buddies. Your subject is David Dermody, an Australian Vietnam vet. He lost contact with an American mate during the war 34 years ago. His name's Tom Fairfull. I need you to track him down and get him here in time for a surprise reunion. So my mission is to track down Tom Fairfull, an American Vietnam veteran. If I find him, I need to arrange a surprise reunion with his Aussie war buddy, David Dermody. Now, David's not been in the best of health lately, but I do know that surprising him with his old American mate will have a huge effect on him. Time to meet up with my contact. Good to meet you. Nice right? to meet you at last, yeah. too. Yeah. Good to see you. So we've spoken a lot on the phone in regards to David Dermody. What else can you tell me about David? Dave. Uh, he was wounded on one of his tours and one of his very good mates was also, I think, injured at the same time. That was Tom Fearful. Uh, they were blown up by a mortar and uh, Dave was heavily wounded. In fact, he was believed uh, to have been killed in action on that occasion. And I know that Tom is around somewhere, possibly in America, but they haven't seen each other since 1967. All we know is that he is somewhere in America. That's all I know, yeah. Nice to okay. talk to you and we'll be in touch. All right, see okay, you later. Thank you. Bye, this Tom's gonna take some finding. Meanwhile, on my reunion mission, the hunt continues for the elusive Tom Fairfall. Sure, I'll hold. So while I track down some leads, I've sent my contact around to see the other half of our surprise reunion. Uh, it's Tom Fairfall. He served in the 2nd Battalion, 5th Infantry Regiment. That's correct. Yes, the 2nd Division. Great. Hey, we're getting somewhere. Are you gung-ho or something? Yes. Yeah. Now, we've told him we're filming an interview for a history program. Hopefully, it might give us some more clues without giving the surprise away. With the bullet hole? Of course. Of course. That gives me time to hit the net and see if I can pin down Tom's location. All right, let's give this a go. Come on, Tom Fairfall, Tom. I'm getting close. Right. Here, we've got a diary. I believe it's a diary that you kept while you are in Vietnam. In fact, I've got your signature here, right? And it says the 13th of February, 1967. All right, we're in. We've got a Tom Fairfall of Honolulu, Hawaii, US of A. Now, all I have to do is get his number. Do you have good memories of the people you knew then? Oh, yeah, but now... You know, you're just old and the memory's gone. Yeah. yeah. Can you remember Tom Fearful? Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Hello? Is that Tom? Tom Fearful? Yes, speaking. Tom Fearful, Simon Kessel. Uh, look, this is a long story, but I'm going to make it as brief as I can. OK. I've been trying to track you down for some time, and... Uh, I do believe you know a David Dermody. David Dermody? Oh, my God, yes. From a, uh, from a very, time. yes, from a very long, long time ago. Uh, how do you feel about hopping on a plane this afternoon? A plane this afternoon? Yeah, hi, Dave. Simone here. I'm just waiting for uh, Tom to land. He should be here any minute. Actually, he's here now. See ya. So I've sorted Tom's flight from Honolulu to meet his old war buddy. It's been 34 years. I hope I recognize him from this photo. I think you're looking for me. <laughs> OK, is this? Tom Fairfield, Simone, yes. how are you? Hi, Simone. Nice to see you. Nice Glad to see to be you. Here. On the way, Tom filled me in with more of the story. How Tom's first taste of combat was alone with Dave, and how Dave had saved his life. 19 November 1966. First taste of battle. In villages following the airstrike, there was total destruction. Dave was cool and calm again, and his common sense and his sense of humor made it all bearable. Returned to the Hill 29 and found that Dave was to be transferred to 4-5 Battalion, and he left by chopper. Sergeant Aguirre arrived as his replacement. It won't be the same without him, and I will miss him. Meanwhile, on my reunion mission, the big day has arrived. You formed such an intense bond, a relationship, the time you were in Vietnam together. Why? There's a bond that comes with soldiers who are under fire together. 
My first experience under fire was with Dave, and he was the old soldier, and I was just the green kid. He saved my life, and that's why I feel the way I do about him. We did everything together for four months, just four short months, but it was just, it was us. He's a brother. Seeing David today, this afternoon, um, how, how is that going to be for you? How do you feel when your brother, who's been dead for 33 years, at least you thought he was dead, is suddenly alive again? The in feeling is so intense, it's just so emotional. I, I, I hope I can handle it without making a complete fool of myself. <laughs> I'm sure you will be fine. It's early afternoon and Dave's heading to the RSL where I've secretly organized a few mates and a few beers to keep him occupied. Little does he know he's about to get the surprise of his life. David Dermody, Simone Kessel from Undercover Angels, nice to meet you. Now I have somebody very, very, very special that I know you've been waiting a long time to meet. So if you just stay there one moment and I'll be right back. Tom. Hey, how are you feeling? Oh. <laughs> now is the time. Oh, great. Oh, God. Come on, you. <laughs> Come on, you. Thank you, Angel. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe this. Oh. Yeah, are you okay? I'm fine. Good? I'm fine, I think. If I don't have a car in there. Thank you. And Simone, you had one very excited customer on board. Yes, well, my US war veteran Tom was a bundle of nerves, but nothing was going to come between him and his mate he thought he would never see again. I'm fine. Good? I'm fine, I think. If I don't have a car in there. Thank you. You don't, eh? You really don't. David Dermody? Tom Fearful. David Dermody's a younger man. <laughs> The angel found us. She found us. Oh, David. My brother. They told me you were dead. No way. They, I know. I can see that now, but they told me you were dead. I was devastated. I, I mourned you for, for months, and I've looked for you for the last time in years. Oh, I'm sure they won't mind me telling you that the beers and the tears flowed well into the night. Fantastic effort, all of you. But those calls for help are still coming in thick and fast. So remember, if someone needs a helping hand, we'll send them an angel. Night, Thorpey. Take care, angels.